Judge for the Second Circuit Court of Appeals, Robert A. Ketchman. Now this is my, my first uh, courthouse naming ceremony since becoming Chief Judge of the Second Circuit, and I just wouldn't miss it. It's, it's just a, an honor to be here at this, uh, in this spectacular uh, courthouse. Uh, we celebrate, as uh, Chief Judge uh, Scrutiny and Judge Arcar have noted, uh, uh, the naming of this courthouse for Associate Justice uh, Robert Jackson, who was, uh, from my perspective, the epitome of the lawyer's lawyer, whose writings were of uncommon power, who worked for the common good in a lifetime of distinguished service, and we in the Second Circuit are proud to claim him as one of our own. Indeed, as a Supreme Court Justice, he was once uh, asked what he coveted about his assignment, and he used the word covet. He said, I covet the assignment of being uh, a, a Circuit Justice, for it made, and he said, and I quote, de jure what in any event has been a de facto situation, and that is that I more or less represent the New York Bar to the Court and the Supreme Court to the New York Bar. I lifted that from the, uh, uh, the uh, judge for Professor Barrett's uh, page uh, in which he quoted uh, and had the speeches of Justice Jackson. And that was a speech that he gave to the New York State Bar Association at the Waldorf Astoria in 1942. At the dedication of the courthouse last year, Senator Schumer and Congressman Higgins, without whose tireless efforts this courthouse would not have been built, told us that they and Senator Gillibrand had introduced legislation in both houses of Congress to name this new courthouse for Justice Jackson. As Chief Judge Scretany and Judge Arcara noted, we are so grateful to our members of Congress, to Senator Schumer, to uh, uh, Congressman Higgins, also to Senator Gillibrand for their support because we know that without their support and hard work we would not be in this courthouse today and we would not be naming it for Justice Jackson. And I might add that I can't help uh, in absentia uh, with respect to Senator Sch Schumer noting that Justice Jackson as Circuit Justice would no doubt have been so proud of the quality of the New York bench, a bench that's second to none, which owes so much to Senator Schumer in recent years, who's been the guardian of excellence in advancing supremely qualified individuals to serve in our courts. Great buildings, as this courthouse is, deserve to be named for great people. And so it is that this striking structure, which is the embodiment of justice, is named for a giant in the law, a lawyer practice in the Western District, Robert H. Jackson. The late Senator Daniel Patrick Moynihan, who had a special affection for Buffalo, and I well recall his talking about his efforts to uh, restore the Prudential Building of, of, um, of Lewis Sullivan, stressed the importance of incorporating the poetry of design into our civic structures. He said, as nowhere else on earth, the courthouse is a symbol of government in the United States. The courthouse square is where folks gather. Senator Moynihan would be pleased with the Jackson Courthouse because it is one with the important work that will be conducted within its walls. The Jackson Courthouse amply expresses the dignity of the federal judiciary while simultaneously underscoring the transparency of our nation's justice systems reflected by the etching of uh, all 4,536 words of the United States Constitution on the glass, as Chief Judge Scretany noted earlier, on the glass facade, casting a silhouette on all who enter this courthouse. The Jackson Courthouse, this courthouse, welcomes all who will walk through its doors, traverse its hallways, and enter its courtrooms to conduct the business of the day. It welcomes all, no matter their circumstance, who look to the ju judiciary for the peaceful resolution of disputes, the litigants seeking justice, the prosecutors hoping to make malefactors pay for their ill deeds, the public defenders who ensure an effective adversarial system, the witnesses, the jurists, the immigrants 
who become new citizens in this building and for whom this building has special meaning. The court staff, the judges, the probation officers, the marshals and security officers who keep us safe, the court reporters and interpreters, the GSA building staff, the public who sit in on any of the nine courtrooms and observe the dispensation of justice in this great building named for a great son of New York. Thank you for inviting me to participate in this auspicious occasion. I look forward to many more visits in the Western District and the Jackson Courthouse during my tenure as Chief Circuit Judge.